What is going on, YouTube family? It is Vontae Who and me, I'm Vontae, and I'm back with another video. This ain't no good video, because I don't know what's going on right now. It's like 100 degrees out this mud, but I might try to figure out what's going on, because there's no way, bro. Like, my car been down for like three whole days, and y'all know just like everybody else know, I don't be gone getting parts from the parts store. I usually, like, like I tell you, we do this shit ourselves, so... I end up like hitting one of my peoples up, see if they, if they got one and try to get one, you know what I'm saying? So that's, that's basically what happened. End up hitting one of my peoples up to try to get one, and I got one. Let me show you right now in a little bit. Hold on. Yeah, and I end up getting one. But the thing was, The problem was, it's the wrong connector. So let me show y'all a little fan I got right quick. All right, here go the fan right here. Right here. All right, now this fan right here came off of, uh, I think it is a, uh, what? I think it was a 2003. And this is a 2010. Uh, being with the 2003, you had that connect. And you know, in the 2010 and up, it's like a, a circle connector. But I'm going to show y'all all that because I'm about to take my fan out. Either way it goes, I'm going to have to try to figure out how I'm about to wire this up. The way, like, this joint, got, it got to run. So I'm going to set my camera up the way y'all can see. Oh, yeah, y'all see my 26s off. Let me explain that to y'all right fast. 26, I think I already explained it. Or did I? Yeah, I did. I did already explain it in my last video with the Pontiac Fiera, I think. If I didn't, and the people who didn't see the video, I slipped, simply took the rims off because I got to get new tires for three of them. But I'm about to go ahead and uh, pop this hood, set this camera up, see if I can get y'all in a good position to see what's going on. Well, I can't even put that fan on, but I'm going to try to find a way to wire it up the way it is. Okay, let me show y'all what's going on right quick. Boom. So with the fan I already had in here, the people had, let me see if I can zoom in on that. People had those two wires right there from the back of the fan connected to a ground wire ground wire that ran right there and a power wire that ran to the blower so when i turn the air conditioner on the fan always turn on now we got a problem with nothing want to cut on and here's the connected piece i was trying to tell you there it is right there so that's the problem that i have with connecting this fan but i'm gonna try to take this out try to wire it up Let's see what we can do. Let's go. First, I need to grab my dang on food. Like, I watched a video on uh, how to take this fan out early. Shout out my boy, Two Time Moto. I watched his video on how to take this fan out early. So I'm gonna go ahead and try to take it out myself. I mean, it's, you know, this is like old, old, I think 8 to 10. So 
All these dudes come by in a long one. No shouldn't be nothing to take on that. All you gotta do is move those out the way so you can access to the fan. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. So uh, once you move those, all you gotta do is take little pieces off of that dust, move that out the way. I ain't gonna do the net simply because. There's no need to. I need to hold up these wires. Jump. We got me. I can't even work with this cigarette. Real time, I'm trying to cigarette. Main thing is to get anything out the way. That's gonna be the main thing. If you can't get to the, the bolts without getting anything out the way. <coughs> and like the fan already don't work, so let me get my pliers, I'm gonna have to disconnect some of these holes. Still in that bit so long, that bit be hard to take off and get it up. Man. Now, I don't got a new fan, so this won't be a, a fan replaced video. I mean, it is, because I, I, I don't, I'm about to try to rig this one up. The way I can get it out. I mean, get it working. And boy, that's 100 degrees.
This little ratchet. You get the job done, bro. I changed my whole front and my hood with just this little ratchet. Shout out to Craftsman. Just this little ratchet. Oh, front, grill, bumper, everything. Hood, just this little ratchet right here. And who you think did all the work? Yours truly, NBM Mate, boy. All right, man. See, this book right here ain't hard to get to, but I'm gonna take this hole and I'll get the weed. That's how I got a 10 on it. That's how I got an 8 on it. That's a bull. I hate when they do mixed balls like that. Like. Last two bolts you gotta take out is the two bottom ones. I gotta see how I'm gonna get down there. And it looks like I gotta go under the car. So I'm about to go under there. Try to get this together. And set it up just like that. And we'll be in the game. All I gotta do is take these two bottoms out. A little tile to throw up under there. Gang, gang. I ain't really tripping about no cold. I'm gonna go to the other I'm gonna tell you right now, you go to work on the car, don't wear nothing. You go, you know you ain't gonna get dirty. Cause you gonna end up getting dirty. Oh shit, we got it out, y'all boys, man, look here. 
Those motherfuckers got a little screw in the bottom of the fat. Grass got it, my junk. Man, they don't even got no screw in the bottom of the fan. See, that's why you you, you, you get a car somebody, you check a lot of shit. That don't make no sense. I'm about to take this fan out if I can. Take this side out first. So I'll take the whole thing out. I put on my dress just to go to the bodega. Ah, job, oh. You can't pull that bit but so far out the way. I put on my jersey just to go to the bodega. All right, y'all boys, let's take the fan Boom, 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 boom. Nah, there's really no real explanation of why this bit ain't working. It really ain't. But we're gonna try to see why. Oh, wow, oh, can we get some power out of it? Uh, there you have it, folks. Now, you can see two total different, like, these is two total different fans. For the people that think, like, hey, just because you got a Crown Vic, everything's going to work. No, it, it's not going to work like that. <coughs> New <coughs> fan, older model fan. Newer model fan, older model fan. So, it looks like... These people took these wires they took these wires from out of here. Yup, that's exactly what they did. So they took these two wires from out of there. Which is right there. So I guess this connector went out and the fan wasn't working like that no more. So they ran a ground wire to the black and a red with power wire to the white, which I told y'all one was on the uh, blower and the other one was on the uh, ground. And when I turned the air conditioner on, that's what made the fan work. Unfortunately, it stopped working. So we're gonna have to put another fan in here, I guess. But the hard problem is you can't find one. <clears throat> That's the only problem, so. Uh, 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 uh. Well, we got the fan out. I just need to see how I'm going to try to rewire this mud to work or try to get some juice out of it. Because it could be the wire, you know. You never know what it could be. 
Uh, if I could get that fan to work, I could put that one on. So. Either way it goes, as long as I get a fan over it, and it looks like this one is like way too big for my uh my uh B. That's probably why they made different fans. Yeah, so I'm gonna try it out, see what I get out of it. If you don't turn on, then oh yeah, I'm gonna have to buy a brand new one. But we got it out, and like I always tell y'all, I do all of this. Like I don't want nobody else to do work for me, so I sit here and do it myself. It ain't nothing but time. You gotta take your time when you're doing things like this. You can't sit here and try to rush things. I mean, it might look like I had rush it just now, but that's just the way I work. <coughs> one room in the trunk, trying to get that steel fixed. That's one on that was uh, leaking for sure. But I really can only transport these rims at a time. <laughs> I'll just take everything out. But yeah, for that video, we got the fan out. Now let's see if I can get a new one in. Now, this is not the end of the video. I'm letting y'all know now. It's just, I don't have a fan on hand right now. So I'm about to go try to put these together. And if I get something work, I will let y'all know. Well, stay tuned to the video, man. As y'all can see, I am sweating my ass off. It is 100 degrees plus out here. And I'm still trying to work on this car to do exactly what I got to do to get it uh, back on the road. See how I'm, I don't waste no time. I make sure it get done. But I'm going to go try to get another fan. Once I get that, we're going to come back, cool off a little bit because it is too hot. But we're going to cool off a little bit. I'm going to put the fan back in. And y'all boys stay tuned to the video. Make sure y'all like, subscribe to the channel. I'll be back. Okay, you two family, we back. And look what I done tried to figure out while I was gone. So, I, like I said, with this fan, I was like, these boys took these two connectors out of here, which is got they go like two prongs. So, it looked like each one was just tied to each one. So, I tried the same thing with this one. But this one has three. So, I then gonna put two of the same wires, the same way they had this one ran. And I did the same thing with this. And look, when I touched the the, uh, the positive on the battery. Oh, hold on, I gotta connect the uh, the ground. Let me connect the ground and show y'all. Look at this. Fan is on. So, uh, my daddy was saying, the reason I burned the last fan up because when I turned the air conditioner on and being that they had to connect to the air conditioner, that was the only way for the fan to burn up. And being with it on all the time, that's why it burned up. So he was saying, if I run these wires, try to run it to where I can run a switch inside of the car and I can just turn the fan on and off from in there. Now that's a good idea, but I don't have no more wire. This is the only wire I have. So I think I'ma run it like, I think I'ma run it like from the blower again. Right, run it from the blower, and when I turn the air conditioner on, the fan turn on. So y'all stick with me, and I'm about to go ahead and try to hook this up. And the only thing with this fan is, I don't have no way to put my, uh, my power stand fluid so we're gonna see where i have to put that but y'all stay tuned with me and we about to try to get this right okay so as y'all see we back to step one how to figure out how i'm gonna wire the fan when we got it on it turns on completely so it works i just gotta get it Mind you, I have no electrical tape, like none whatsoever. All right, so this is the real life. That's the ground. That's the ground. That's the ground. Okay, we're gonna touch some these a little bit better. But where we got them. I should have had some tape. I don't have any. Where the 
What can do about that, partner? And the tape will help you like you don't cause no fire, so. That's really it. So you don't cause no fires. Careful. You gotta lower this mud down in there. Into them little slots. Why did you come up? That shit gonna fuck me up. You know, I'm really trying to get caught on this shit. Well, they look like the same size fans and everything, but guess what? This one. That right there and that right there. It's like you can't even get past the this nor this. That's the problem. Yeah, that's the problem. So I guess that's why that one like cut shorter on both sides, but that's the problem, son. So, unfortunately, even though the fan works, I'm going to have to get a... Butter can through an electric bike just now, bro. Like, it looked like a, a bike that you pedal, but it was like, it was electric. That dude was flying, man. But I'm going to have to get me a new fan, basically for 2010. <clears throat> so... Yeah, when I get that new fan, I'll be back. Bruh, y'all need to understand me. What I mean, what is going on, bruh? Well, like my daddy said, the fan probably cooled off, so that's why it's running on. It probably been working, but I didn't even try it. But this is the old, I mean, the new fan. Well, it's not a new fan because it came out of another crowd, but this is my old fan. Now, remember I was saying it wasn't working at all. So I decided to wire it back up. And look at this. You see that? Look at that. So you telling me I took all of this out and the fan is still working? Look at this. There's no way. Oh my God. So, bro, I got to put all of this back in. To be honest, I'm not going to record me putting back in because this video is already too long. But I'm going to go ahead and put it back in. Once I got it back in in December, I will get back with y'all. Okay, YouTube family. Everything is assembled back together. And instead of hooking it to the battery, I just ran it the same way they had it ran before. Back to the, uh, the air conditioner blower right there. So, this is just for now until I get a new fan that can actually plug up to the plug right there. They just got this fan rigged the fuck up, and that's just fucked up. But uh, I'm going to show y'all the work right quick. Hold on. See, show you exactly what I'm talking about. So, you got, when I switch the car on, well, it's already on, but when I turn the AC, it don't matter which one I turn it to, but turn it to anyone. And as you can see, Crazy. Went through all that and still As y'all can hear. So I don't really know what caused that. My dad is saying the day that I was driving it, fan probably got too hot and just shut itself off. So 
that's what he's saying. He said like once it cooled down, it probably got back right the way it wanted to cut on again. And the day that it did when I, I was driving, like I literally went to Charleston, from Charleston to Columbia, from Columbia back to Orangeburg, and I was driving around doing all kinds of other stuff once I got back. So that's what basically took place the other day. But uh, we got the fan back in, exactly the same way they had it. And this fan works. I'm gonna give that back to the uh, person I bought it from and get my money back. But other than that, I think I'm gonna just go ahead and get me a brand new fan, the way it can connect to that connector. Cause like I just showed y'all earlier, this can't connect cause they took the two wires out here that runs this box. So I guess this, this went out or something like that. And that's why they ran it like that. But that's going to conclude this video. It was supposed to be a fan replacement, but unfortunately y'all saw what happened throughout the video. So I don't really have to explain none of that. And for my Crown Vic guys, y'all boys, keep y'all cars up, man. I like to see what y'all boys doing. All y'all, like y'all doing it big this summer 2021. I like to see what y'all doing out here with these Crown Vicks. I ain't gonna lie, that's like my number one. That's like the number one car I like to see, like on big wheels. I ain't gonna lie, I like to see small cars on big wheels too. So, and like, as long as you just keep your car clean, that's really all I like. And hold on, let me show y'all. Y'all know how I had the Pontiac Fiel crack. As soon as I posted that video, somebody came and got it. As soon as I posted that video, dude was like, hey, bro. Uh, I, I ain't going to call his name, and I ain't going to put the price out that he offered me. But, like, dude was like, hey, bro, there's no way you got the last one on Earth. I mean, this bit, like, bro, this is not the last one on Earth. I see him on YouTube all the time. Like, it's multiple people out here. But he was like, around here, I was the only last person with one. And he offered me, like, a huge lump sum of money for it. So I did what I had to do. It made him happy. Like I said, I don't do this. The, the like to show people I'm better than them and stuff like that. I do this to help people. Like, when I finish this car, I'm going to pass it on to somebody and let somebody else enjoy it. Like, my purple car here all all around. Like, I sold that car. Well, I traded that car to a girl in Augusta, Georgia. And, and the car is back down here in South Carolina. And that's why I hear all the time, hey, I see your purple car. And that's what I like. Like, when I hear people, like, I see what the work you done did. I see him riding around clean. I like that. That's just the way it is. I like that. And that's what I'm going to do with this one, too. I'm going I'm to take that off. You know, whoever wanted can always take that off. But some people might leave it on there simply because it's hard. <coughs> but like I said, when, when it comes to materialistic things, I really don't try to hang on to it too much because you can die today, you can die tomorrow, and what is going to be getting hand, handed off either way. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, it might get passed out to your family, but one of your family members might sell it or something like that. But we got the fan in. I don't want to get too much off topic. We got the fan in. Everything running the same. Let me go ahead and give y'all a little start up. Come on, man. You know I got y'all. Come on. My second crown thing I'm about to do, and another thing I uh I like is where your car is built, not bought. That's a little startup for y'all. Uh, that's a little quick start, cause I ain't gonna really do too much. But I hear a little noise just now when I crank this mud up. I don't know what that was. Hopefully I ain't miss up nothing. <clears throat> it don't look like I did. All I did was take the fan off, but. Y'all got, did y'all shoot a video when I changed? No, I didn't shoot no video, cause simply I've changed that like in five seconds, bro. Literally. But uh, make sure y'all stay tuned to the channel. Make sure y'all like and subscribe to the channel because I'm trying to do this for the people. Like, I want everybody to see what we're doing down here in South Carolina. Show everybody, like, hey, you, you, a lot of people be like, it's not, it's not about hate. It's about everybody getting together 
and everybody coming together as one. Like us black people don't have no chance nowadays. You know what I'm saying? All that black against black crowd need to stop. You know what I'm saying? So we need to get together and do something positive. Cause it's cause to me is positive. You come out and you can enjoy yourself with your car hooked up, music bumping, rims, light show. I love it. I love it. I like to see everybody as a community get together and come out with their cars. Just like nobody hating on each other. Yeah, your rims bigger than mine, but nobody is hating. Your rims bigger than mine, my rims smaller than yours. But guess what? Both our cars clean. We come out here and we dab each other up because there's no hate. Air, you could do whatever you want to do. You know what I'm saying? So it was just like that. Yeah. Like I'm saying, cause I had some little distraction just now, but like I say, uh, I'm a goddamn gonna get me another fan. When I put these rims back on, I'm gonna show y'all that. And y'all already see my car in 26. I wish I could show y'all when I uh first did the car, but listen here. When I mean I call hell. I call hell, bro. We literally started 11 o'clock that morning. I had finished the 6 o'clock that afternoon just getting rims on. So you know how crazy it is. Me and my homeboy did it, but we finished at 6 o'clock at 6.30. I was driving out the yard on 26-inch rims, boy. But look, make sure y'all like, subscribe to the channel, MBM Bonte, if you fuck with the game. But like I always tell y'all, what? I am out.